Guys, I actually can't believe we're saying this, but we're back on Project Cars career mode. The road to Formula 1 continues. It has been so long, so long since I've done this series. I think the last time I did an episode was just before F1 2015 came out, and I think that was the main reason why I stopped this series, but we are actually back. We're back for Formula A. Last time, in the last episode, I don't know if you've, if you've seen this series before, but we raged a lot, and I mean a lot, at the AI and the, the handling model, I'm not too sure, but Formula A, round number three of 19, and we're back at that Chinese circuit, the Zhuhai International Circuit, location in China, 2.68 miles, 14 turns, that looks nothing like the Chinese Grand Prix. Is this race? Yes, it is. And we're jumping straight into a race with no practice. And it's raining too. Well, this is going to be an absolute barrel of laughs. Plus, oh shit. I genuinely did not mean to do that. <laughs> you know, I thought this was like F1. You put the, you put the, you put it in the first gear and then, and then you get ready to go like in F1 2015, but Away, or oh, we okay. The the steering is way too sensitive. We need to fix this up. All right, there we go. We're back in the game. We fixed the wheel. Back in China. Lots of rain starting from the back. This can only end well. Away we go. Let's watch out for the wheel spin. I remember that being a bitch. Back on project cars. Here we go. Okay, let's go into turn one. I don't even know where Tom. Why have we got the driving line on? I never had the driving line on. It's also something we need to fix. Oh, I can't see a thing. Heading into turn one, there's just spray everywhere, cars everywhere. I have to relearn this track. No assists. Jesus. I think I remember why I wanted to quit this game. Oh man, like literally. Can you guys see where we're meant to go? It's just impossible. Impossible. Someone's gone up our inside there. I do not care. I do not care. We're going to finish last this race. Let's face it. I just want to survive this thing. Holy shit. Lads, everyone's in the pits. We've just moved up to P7. Are there compulsory pit stops in this race? I'm not too sure. Oh, jeez. This car wants to kill me, it really does. Every traction zone is just an absolute nightmare for me. I'm not smooth at all, I'm just trying to get this thing to the finish. More people are in the pits. The weather's cleared up massively on this lap, so that's a that's a positive. I can actually see where I'm going now. P2 is all over me here. Uh, I don't know if they're on slick tyres or not, but looks like we may be racing for position. He goes up the inside. Oh, he's overshot the corner. He is on the slick tyres. So, maybe this isn't a, maybe this isn't a, what's the word, a mandatory pit stop race. We're genuinely fighting for position. One more lap to go. To be fair, my engineer hasn't called me into the pits, so maybe we are racing for position. My rear tyres are overheating massively. They're already red. And there is a massive train of cars behind me. Can we hold on to P2, a, a spot on the podium, with only one more lap to go in our return race to Project Cars? Oh, that was close. We almost got wiped out then. No, no. There goes the podium. Another lunge up the inside from what looks to be a Ferrari. There's contact. And we continue on. We're down to P6. I did not anticipate that we'd finish in the top 10, let alone P6 in this race. There's just no grip in these tyres. I'm, I'm trying my best to hold on, but I don't know. It's not looking good. Here we go. I think this is it, final corner, up to the straight, in our return race to Project Cars. We finish in 8th place, and in the points. I will take that, that's for sure. Coming into this round, we started last, it was absolutely bucketing it down with rain. For us to come away with some points, in 8th place is just a miracle. Especially on a track that I don't know, it was just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, please let the next race be dry, and let us... Have a good qualifying position. Brands Hatch. Oh, Jesus. Well, there goes our good qualifying position. If 
Fucking hell, the curves really give this car a beating. Let alone my hands with the force feedback. I feel like, it, I feel like my wrists are going to get ripped off. Cheers. Lovely. That's what you want. Here we go, coming up to the line at the end of qualifying. I actually didn't think we'd get this lap in. Where does it put us on the grid? P4. Yes. Very good qualifying position. I've got to say, when we set off to do this lap, there was zero seconds left in qualifying. So uh, there's been some kind of patch or whatever that allows for extra time for you to get a lap in. But even in regular racing rules, that wouldn't have, that lap shouldn't have been allowed to get in. But it's happened. We've qualified P4 for the Brands Hatch round of this championship. I'm very happy with that, considering we didn't really use Kurs or DRS either. There's still even more time for us to find in this race here. So finally, guys, we're going to get some actually decent racing in this episode. Ready for the five red lights now, the 12 red lights, or however many it is, and away. Oh, cautious start. We've got to get up to a cautious start. The wheel spin is very real on Project Cars. You do not want to be on the receiving end of some wheel spin. Ugh, just getting overtaken for days here. And we've been hit off. Wow. Get off the curb, you dickhead. Nah, we're doing that again. That was just bullcrap. The fact that the AI just still continue to just hit you off the track. They don't even care where you are. They don't care who you are either. They'll just hit you off. Away we go. Take two of the Brands Hatch Grand Prix and into turn one. We lose even more positions. Just like F1 2015. No matter what game we play, lads, we cannot get off to good starts. I can guarantee if we played Mario Kart, we'd still get off to... What is that? Alright, Ben. Goal for this race. Do not touch anything, and do not let anything touch you. Away we go for the Brands Hatch Grand Prix. Once more into turn one, we're going to cut off that guy and hold on to our starting position into the first sequence of corners. Hallelujah, it's a miracle. Get off the curbs. What did I say about touching the curbs? Oh, no, disaster. We run wide through the left-hander. Almost. Almost lost a spot there. Oh, guys, I've just realized. I realize now why we're so slow. We're running with like 94 liter, liters or gallons worth of fuel. We're running with like a full race worth of fuel. We're only doing a five lap race. That's why we're so slow on the straights and these guys are all over us. That's why. That is, that is so why we're not competitive in the race here. Wow. I'm literally doing everything. Absolutely everything to stay in front of these guys. DRS curves out of all the, uh, you know, considerably long straights here at Brands Hatch. But, oh, I don't know. I don't know if we can hold on. If we make any mistakes, these guys are going to be all over us. This is so tense. This is absolutely so tense. I've, I've competed for how many, God knows how many world championships before in F1 career modes, but this is something else. Project Cars AI. You know how hungry these guys are, how dirty they are. If they get any chance of a sniff, they're going to take you out. I just... Oh no. You've got to be millimetre perfect going through this middle sector. Can't miss any apexes going into slow corners. Otherwise, you are gone. It's only lap 3 of 5. I feel like this has been a 100% race. Another guy tries to... A little ambitious move into the final corner. This is what the a Project Cars AI do. They just go for little lunges. They don't care if it, if it, shut up. These guys, they don't care if they, you know, try a rash move up the inside and it doesn't work. They don't seem to have feelings <laughs> or whatever. All right, there's a guy beside me. He's beside me. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Okay. Disaster averted. Someone's gone slow. Someone's gone slow. Let's get around them. Onto the podium. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I went in a little bit deep to the right hander. We got a little touch up in the right rear. I don't care about cooling the brakes. Just cool these angry AI behind me, please. Yeah, I don't care about the gap there. We're not going to catch P2. No way. No way in the world. It's the final lap. Someone's beside me on the outside. We just hit the apex here. We've got the inside line. There's no way they're going to overtake me around there unless they're Superman. But 
looks like we're gonna hold on here lads just a few more corners to go and we're gonna get a podium here in Brands Hatch in this road to Formula A Formula One championship for project cars I don't know what our best result is but this one I think it's gonna be right up there I don't think we've won a race not sure if we got a podium but today on heavy fuel on our return to project cars we've got a podium at Brands Hatch Bloody hell, that was just intense. That moves us up in a pit, and into ninth in the driver standings, but guys, I think that's gonna leave this for today's episode. I am absolutely screwed after that. I don't know how to describe, but we were running with heavy fuel, something like three or four seconds off the pace. That would put you a uh, full tank's worth of fuel, but we managed to hold on, managed to gain a position, thanks to a little bit of luck there, and we finished on the podium here in Brands Hatch. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Project Cars return more often. Yep, that's going to do this video for today. Until my next one guys, I'll see you next time.